even before my first Olympics. I might have been jogging. I might have been lifting weights. I might have been eating dinner. I might have been walking down the mall. But you know what was going on in here? What I thought about all the time? I could see myself walking in that opening ceremonies. I could see all the people cheering, and it was so exciting. I look over my shoulder, there's the Olympic torch burning brightly. And here's the Olympic orchestra playing the Olympic anthem, my favorite song in the whole wide world. And we're high-fiving each other. We made it, man. We made it. It was worth it. It was worth it. And you feel the wind hitting your face. And you feel the, the, the snow and, and the tears of joy and the goosebumps everywhere. I can feel the goosebumps right now, guys. I am there. And four years later, when I actually walked into that stadium, it was just like I imagined it, only 100 times better. It was awesome. Awesome. The mind can't tell the difference between something that you vividly imagine with all your heart and all your soul and all your, uh, all your senses and all your passion, it can't tell the difference between that and something that's actually happening. So when you go through that little exercise, what's it going to feel like? What's it going to taste like? What's it going to be like when I finally make my dream come true? What's it going to feel like when I've paid off all my debts? What's it going to be like? Man, when you start thinking like that, your subconscious mind will start looking for a way to make it happen. And you'll start getting that passion going. And, and, and that, that desire will grow. And that's what's going to lead you to start picking up that phone that weighs like a 800 pounds right now. All of a sudden, your arm gets real strong all of a sudden. You just pick it up and no big deal, right? And, you start, and, and somebody says no and it doesn't even hurt anymore. And you become a better leader. And you talk differently and you walk differently because you believe. And it all starts with the visualization, just picturing it in your mind. It doesn't have to be 3D. It doesn't have to be in color. Just get those feelings going. What's it going to feel like? What's it going to taste like? What's it going to smell like? And that makes you hungry. And if you're hungry, you're going to do a lot more than if you're happy where you're at. You can't complacent, right? So that's visualization. Everybody at the Olympic does it. Before every run, we visualize our run. We 